Hello, hello everyone. Sai here. Thank you so much for joining me. I have a craft roulette card that I'm going to show you and this is 189. I'm doing this at the very last minute. I decided that I was just going to wing it and see what I can create within a short period of time. It is Thursday at 8.45 so I am trying to get this submitted before the deadline. And we need to create an A2, four colors, something that starts with H and a postage stamp. So I thought, what would start with the H? Handmade card. And when I mean handmade card, I mean handmade. I am going to only use a die for the sentiment because I don't want to cut out all the letters. <laughs> That's it. So here's my here's my handmade postage stamp card. So if you are someone who doesn't have a stamp die set, this is the tutorial for you. Look how easy, look how clean, look how fantastic this postage stamp is. And it took me just a minute to make this beautiful piece. And then what I'm going to do is start creating some trees. And I got some pattern paper here. This is Vicki Booten's Christmas Peppermint Kisses. I am absolutely loving it. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create some darn adorable trees. And I'm gonna start with some plaid here, nice green shades, and then I'll just try some other greens in this paper pad. And you'll see, here's one of them right here, which is just the reverse, actually. I'm going to not even think about it. I'm just going to start snipping. I'm going to try to create different sizes, but in the end, they all kind of end up being the exact same height. And that's just because I wasn't planning it. I'm just cutting it. And you can see that some sides are longer than others. I'm not worrying about it. I'm just going to position them when I'm done. The next thing I noticed is it's kind of looking plain. So I'm going to take the top of this piece of paper and I'm going to make myself a fence. This is going to create a nice scene of um, in the winter, or sorry, in the forest. Maybe this is uh, a tree farm where you can cut down some beautiful Christmas trees. I know I would love to have a Christmas tree that was shaped exactly like that. My partner, maybe not so. I think it's fantastic. <laughs> so all I'm going to do is create some quick fences, snip off the ends, fold it, and then sniff off the middles and I will have a nice full fence. I'll do that twice and then I will put them together and just snip off whatever is overhanging. Like I said, not thinking. I'm just going with it. It's just everything is just going according to plan, which was no plan. It's just flowing. Now I decided that I need some nice background. The white wasn't doing it for me, so I'm just going to take this. This is the opposite side of the wood pan or wood grain paper, and it was perfect. Now I have a night scene. <laughs> so I was just loving this process of not caring and just having some fun. I even got some tears in my paper while I was distressing it. I don't care. This is going to be a handmade card, and it's going to be fun. So I'm gonna glue this down and now I got my background. Now to create the scene, I'm just gonna place my trees down, making sure that the main one is in the center there and I'm just gonna tuck the other ones in just to position them so that they have their best uh, opportunity to shine. There we go, almost, we're almost done. This is, this card is coming along nicely. I'm really enjoying this fun card. And then we'll glue that down. And then the next thing we're going to do is take our fences and we'll just glue those down. And I'm kind of thinking maybe wonky. I, I don't want a nice perfect fence because this is not a perfect card. Everything is all miscut and, and just crazy. And there we go. And then I realized this is kind of floating. So let's put some posts in there. So I'm going to reuse some of these scraps. I'm not going to waste these paper. I'm going to pick up those little pieces that I cut off and I'm going to make posts of them, make little legs. And I'm just going to place them over top, lap, overlapping, I like that overlapping look. And then for the last one right in the middle, I'm going to just tuck it underneath, just so that it's kind of touching the other fence post and not this one in the front. I think that turned out fantastic. I'm really loving this. Now we need some snow falling down on this non-cloudy sky day, <laughs> night, sorry. And I'm just using this acrylic paint and I'm gonna use my fan brush and I'm just gonna splatter this. I didn't really think about this at the time, but 
I don't have much time for drying because I want to get this together. So adding wet paint that takes a while to dry, probably not the best idea. So I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm just going to quickly dry it just enough so that you kind of get that skin over the big blobs. And then I can work with that because I'm going to put my sentiment down. The reason I didn't put my sentiment down first is because I didn't want the snow or the, the paint on it. So now I just got to be careful. <laughs> How hard can that be? <laughs> so here we go. I'm just carefully placing these letters, these sentiments down just so I don't um, accidentally smudge the paint. Luckily, the really small speckles of paint are dry. It's just those big blobs I got to be careful of. And so here we go. I'm, the sentiment I decided to work with is winter greetings. I thought this was very fitting for this fun handmade. <laughs> I'm just going to keep saying handmade because I need to really emphasize that something needs to start with H. <laughs> so this is a handmade holiday card. <laughs> ha ha. <laughs> we get as many H's in there as I can. Now I want to prop this up because it is a white, white uh, stamp. <laughs> white handmade stamp. Or post-it stamp, I should say, on a white card. So I'm going to lift that up to create some distinction. There we go. I'm going to snip this all down. And that's our card. That's it. I did it. <laughs> I got to quickly post this before I run out of time. I got one hour to do this. I will say this is a craft roulette uh, card. So if you're not familiar, I will put all the information in the description box below. But that's craftroulette.live. And they are on YouTube and almost every Friday. They'll be playing with a guest and they will spin the wheel to pick a project, a color, an element, and a random. So that's what you saw at the beginning of this video. All the information, I will try to remember to put it in the description box below, so check it out. I do hope you partake. It's pretty much the end of this week, but tomorrow is the new one. So I do hope you check it out if you're not familiar with it. So until then, have a wonderful, fantastic, something that starts with an H day, and I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.